Hi, my name is John Cairns and I have been working here in Skull Street of Boys since 1981. Um, th I'm in my 35th year, year here and I took over as principal in 2005. The very first boy was registered in the school in 1873. Michael Malloy, uh, his father was a carpenter and he was 11 years of age. Um, the education took place at that stage in a temporary accommodation. The very first building was built in 1891 and that building is still standing today. It's the community centre for the parish. The second building was built in 1956. The current building that we're in was built in 2013. We're in our third year, uh, starting into our third school year in the new school building. This is the third generation of buildings. The old building built in 1956 has been knocked down. One of the main aims is to produce good citizens for the country, so we look at educating the whole child. We take a holistic approach and we, we look at every child's individual situation, we look at their home situation, we look at the child's personality, we look at their ability and we try to educate the whole child. It is often remarked when they go to the secondary schools that uh, the principals would always know children who came from our school because of the way in which they conduct themselves. We have a mix of teachers who are um, experienced with 10 years experience or more and we have some newly qualified teachers. However, the standard of teaching here is of the highest quality. Uh, we have an excellent, energetic, young staff who give everything to the children. They're kind, they're, um, they're protective of the children, they're very caring, uh, but they're also very professional in their approach to both the children and the parents. And once again, I would say that they take the holistic route of educating the whole child. It's, it perme permeates throughout the whole school and it's something that we encourage all teachers to take part in. We have um, quite a diverse population here in the school. We have children from many, many nationalities and a lot of these children would come to school with no knowledge of English. They may enter the school not even at the start of school in junior infants, they may enter the school halfway through the eight years of primary school coming from maybe Pakistan or India or China and they would have no English. So we have a specific program for children. It's called English as an Additional Language and we have three teachers who teach that program to the children so they get assistance in that matter. This school building is um, very well equipped with technology. We have interactive whiteboards in every single classroom and in the special education tuition rooms. They come with sound installed as well and there is a computer in each classroom for the teacher to use. We also have a laptop uh, trolley. We have several laptop trolleys which are brought around to classrooms and some classrooms do uh, some of their work on computers on their, on their laptops. Each classroom also has um, lighting control which gives a certain amount of light at table tabletop height. Uh, it gives consistent light throughout the day so the lights dim or they come up as they are needed. We also engage in water recycling. We, uh, we have a large tank underneath the playground which takes all of the rainwater from the roof and this water is then pumped at night into the attic into another tank which, and we use that water to uh, flush all of the toilets in the school and as a note this building is twice the size of our last building yet our water bill is 50% of what it used to be. We have some children here in the school who would have uh, gross motor skill difficulty such as dyspraxia and we um, give them some occupational therapy. Uh, the, their own occupational therapists come to the school and they teach our special needs assistants how to um, administer the occupational therapy to the children. Uh, it's quite unusual to find this in a primary school uh, but we do pride on ourselves on doing the very best for the children that are in our care. We have many um, after school activities which take place here. First one would be the homework club where uh, children go for an hour after school and they complete their homework with two of the teachers. Uh, the next one would be our football club which takes place in, in the afternoon. The children are given training in soccer and soccer skills. We have a great sporting tradition here in Skullvreda. We also have a brass band in the school. Uh, this brass band is run by the Blanchestown Brass Band. The Blanchestown Brass Band was founded in 1826. It's one of the oldest brass bands in the country. And the leader of that band comes in and teaches the children from fourth and fifth class after school. Um, they get excellent value. They pay 25 euro for 10 lessons. They're given an instrument to play. They take the instrument home to practice. 
books and music stands etc are supplied for the children. We also have the Crafty Scientists um, and this is a new venture by one of our teachers Miss Hayes and they do exciting experiments and the children are taught how to do uh, some very simple basic experiments in the classroom and it's very enjoyable and the children are learning uh, all things scientific. We have a Montessori school here in uh, the school. They have one room downstairs. It's a great benefit to parents because, um, first of all, this is a free preschool year. It's state funded. Um, the children learn in the same environment that they will learn when they come to the main school. Um, the parents are able to drop off their children in one place and collect them again. So if, say for instance, um, they, they have older brothers or sisters which are coming to the school. They can come in at the same time and they just collect them at, at 12 o'clock when they're going home. That's the Montessori school. They also provide an after school service and a preschool uh, before school service where children are here from 7.30 in the morning and they're given their breakfast and then they go to school. This is for working parents. If parents are working shift work or they're working very early, those children are given dinner straight away after school. There's hot food provided. So this is a fantastic service to have in the school and the parents really do appreciate it. Recently, we had um, the Irish Defence Forces here in the school. It's part of the 1916-2016 um, centenary celebrations. The Defence Forces were here to present the Irish flag to the school and a pro the proclamation of independence, both in the Irish language and in the English language. And by the readiness of its children to sacrifice themselves for the common good, prove itself worthy of the august destiny to which it is called. A big round of applause from Alfred. We would like parents to choose our school as the school community for their child to come to school. We would dearly like to educate their children. Every child is more than welcome to come here to Skullvrida and uh, become part of our ongoing school history, which we value greatly. Mm -hmm.